Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to do a Tesla stock bear versus bull argument. I'm going to look at both sides of the investment thesis, the bull case and the bear case for Tesla stock investors. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the bull case for investing in Tesla stock. Of course, Tesla is the pioneer of the EV industry. Tesla is credited for pioneering the EV industry, being the first to reach large scale output profitability and free cash flow others are just following suit because of the success of tesla if tesla was not able to achieve the success that it did others would not be following suit right they're not going to let tesla continue to take this market for itself and so others are now coming in because of what tesla has done secondly Tesla has demonstrated economies in scale. Tesla's gross profit margin has increased from 7.3% in 2012 to 25.3% in 2021, demonstrating that it's becoming more profitable as it expands output and sales. This is something I love to see from an investment. As sales are growing, its profit margins are expanding. In fact, I tend to rate lower companies that are just growing their revenues without expanding their profit margins i see that as not prudent management i don't like to see that in investment so this is really good news for tesla stock investors and finally tesla stock has a visionary leader elon musk has captured the attention and loyalty of investors and car buyers alike his leadership gives tesla stock the benefit of the doubt Investors frame negative news as positive and positive news as incredible. Anytime Elon Musk does something negative, uh, the investors try to frame it as something positive. Elon Musk sells billions of dollars of Tesla stock after he says he wouldn't sell it anymore. Investors say that's a that's good news. They frame it in a good way. Elon Musk gets distracted with Twitter. In Tesla stock investors say, oh, that's going to be good news because after he does that, it's going to be good for Tesla because of this reason and that reason. Regardless, it seems like whatever Elon Musk does, Tesla stock investors seem to frame it in a positive light. And that's good news for Tesla stock investors because you're getting that benefit of the hype from everybody else overvaluing Tesla because they're overcrediting Elon Musk for being able to do more than what he's actually doing. So now let's look at the bear case for investing in Tesla stock and that is starting with rising competition. Nearly every legacy car company is ramping up production of electric vehicles. Further, several new well-capitalized EV-only car companies have launched and ramped up their production including Lucid Motors, NEO, Xpeng, BYD, Rivian and more there's going to be hundreds of thousands of ex of of capacity increases coming online in 2023 that's going to be a significant headwind for Tesla as now customers have other options on where they can spend their money if they're looking for an electric vehicle secondly uh, the rising cost of goods sold. Inflation is increasing prices on the materials needed for production. Moreover, competition is causing materials needed for EV production to soar even higher. So this is going to pressure Tesla's gross profit margins, which is, has done an excellent job of expanding. It's risking those coming down, especially as competition is raising the cost of goods sold, more so than inflation, because competitors are causing the specific EV materials that are needed to make EVs soar in price even more. And finally, Tesla stock is trading at a growth-dependent valuation the stock is priced at a level that incorporates its historically high level of growth rates and it's expecting those level of growth rates to continue in the future which may be unrealistic considering all of this competition that's coming online it's unrealistic to think that tesla can grow as quickly as it did in the last five years over the next five years because competition is going to be much much fiercer over the next five years than it was in the previous five 
but its valuation in my opinion doesn't incorporate that its valuation still is expecting Tesla to continue to grow and even the company hasn't updated its target on its website where it says it continues to expect to increase deliveries by 50% annually over the long run which I think in the bear case might be unrealistic all right so that's all I've got for this video Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.